Well, we're gonna make Chinese spare ribs, and usually I get a slab of ribs. Uh, this one is about three and a half pounds, or you can ask for as much as you want. But then if you just ask the butcher to cut it lengthwise, so that the bone is about an inch thick. And then when I get it home, I try to see if it has that silver membrane on the back, on the fatty side. And then I try to peel that off. And then we have a pot of water on the stove because after um, we're going to parboil the spare ribs first. So then afterwards you can trim some of the fat off. So I just kind of cut away. Most of the pieces are pretty lean. And then you cut the width of the bone. And if the piece looks too big, you can cut it down like this. You want them all about the same size. Not like that. So you just kind of follow along, cutting in between the bone. And then after you cut all of them, you can put it in boiling water to parboil for about five or ten minutes. So after we cut up the pork ribs, we get some boiling water, and we're going to dump it into parboil. Usually till the gunky stuff kind of floats on the top, and then we just rinse it out in a colander, and rinse out the meat really well, and wash the pot. This is after parboiling about five to ten minutes. And I kind of pour outside the colander first so some of the gunky can flow out. And then I just dump it in the colander. And rinse it all off. And then I also rinse out the pot and wash it. And then we heat up some oil in the, our clean washed out pot dry it with a paper towel a bit to get some of the water off. Then you pour the spare bin put it on a little and then add some minced garlic. Let it kind of sit a little bit. Okay. And then you put some soy sauce in. And oyster sauce. Mm -hmm. I like a lot of oyster sauce. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of cornstarch. Mm -hmm. Mix it in. Try to get them all coated and then let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes on medium high heat. So you see it's browned a bit and now we're going to add the fermented bean cake or clear. Since we have quite a bit, I usually use at least maybe five of the big cake pieces. You can put in a little of the sauce. Not too much because it's just pretty salty. You kind of break it up and again mix it all in. In five minutes and then you just kind of cover it with water. Hot water? We're using hot water just because um, then you don't have to bring it to a boil. Uh, it doesn't take as long. So just cover wow. all the meat. And then cover the pot. And let it simmer. Turn it down a bit. So it's been about 20, 25 minutes. And we're going to add the potatoes now. So 
They're just russet potatoes and chunked up. And then you kind of get it so it's a little bit under the water also. And then bring it back to a boil and simmer for another 20 minutes or until the potatoes are soft and the meat is soft.